Hi everybody, I am Dodivik Arma, a physical therapy intern from RTRMF, and today we're going to talk about the ocular muscles. There are voluntary and involuntary muscles of the eyes. The extraocular muscles are made of six voluntary muscles, while the intraocular muscles are made of three involuntary smooth muscles. For the extraocular muscles, the superior rectus muscle raises the cornea upward and medially. It is supplied by the oculomotor nerve and has the following origin and insertion. The inferior rectus muscle depresses the cornea downward and medially, which is also innervated by the oculomotor nerve. It has the following origin and insertion. The medial rectus rotates the eyeball so that the cornea looks medially. It is similarly supplied by the oculomotor nerve and has the following origin and insertion. And remember, when you are asked about which muscle is affected in external strabismus, the answer is medial rectus because it can no longer oppose the action of lateral rectus. And speaking of this unopposed muscle, the lateral rectus is responsible for rotating the eyeball so that the cornea looks laterally, and it has the following origin and insertion. It is innervated by the abducent nerve that when affected could lead to internal strabismus. The superior oblique muscle on the other hand has the following origin and insertion that functions to rotate the eyeball so that the cornea looks downward and laterally. It is innervated by the trochlear nerve, which is the longest intracranial nerve and the only cranial nerve arising from the dorsum of the brainstem. And finally, we have the inferior oblique that rotates the cornea upward and laterally with the following origin and insertion. It is innervated by the oculomotor nerve. However, the three intrinsic muscles of our eyes are beyond our control because they are smooth involuntary muscles. The sphincter pupillae of iris constricts the pupil and is supplied by the parasympathetic nerve via oculomotor nerve, while the dilator pupillae of iris dilates the pupil and is supplied by the sympathetic nerve. And finally, the ciliary muscle controls the shape of our lens, and in accommodation, it makes our lens more globular. It is supplied by the parasympathetic via oculomotor nerve. Thank you for watching and see you again on my next video.